In this video, we will discuss the problem minimum X or A. The problem previously has been asked in a lot of product based companies and it is a very good problem to learn about bit manipulation. The problem says that we'll be given two integers A and B and a task is to find an integer X such that X or A is minimum possible and the count of the set bits in X is equal to the count of set bits in B. So let us say that if we have been given uh, the value A as 3 and B as 5. So in that case we can understand that we have to get A, A, Zor, X such that the answer is minimum possible such that the Zor value of A, Zor, X is minimum possible and to get this we have to learn about the bits and how they work in terms of Zor. So if we do the bitwise Zor of the same bits then we get a 0. If we do 0, Zor 0, then we'll get a 0. If we do 1, Zor 1, so we get a 0. So if the bits are same, then we get a 0. If we do 0, Zor 1, we get a 1. If we do 1, Zor 0, so we get a 1. So if the bits are different, in that case, what we'll get is, we'll get, uh, if the bits are different, then we'll get a 1. Otherwise, we'll get a 0. So if we want to keep our answer as minimum possible, so we will try to keep as many bits of A and X uh, set uh, same as possible so that we can get the answer as zero because if the bits are same for A and X, then that per then each like many of the bits will be zero such that the answer will decrease. So now in this case, if we observe here, so we can observe that A has been given as three and B has been given as five. So if A has been given as three, so 3 means like 3's representation is nothing but 0, 1 and 1. So that means in A, 2 bits are set. And if I write 5, so 5 is nothing but 1, 0 and 1. So if I see here, so the number of set bits of A and B are same. So if the number of set bits of A and B are same, so that means I can take my X as nothing but A. Because if I do the ZOR of same values, if I do 3's or 3, then I'll get a 0 because why 0 1 1 Zor 0 1 1 will give me overall 0 and that is what I wanted. So if the number of bits are the same in that case we can say that we can simply return a because a will be our x because if we do a Zor a then it will be nothing but 0 that will be the minimum possible value for us and similarly we have to check for all the other cases. So there will be two other cases when the number of bits set bits of a is greater than x and when the number of set bits of uh, a is uh, lesser than uh, is greater than B and when the number of set bits of uh, A is lesser than B. So we'll deal with both the cases here. So let's say that if we have been given A value like let me just copy this. So suppose that we have been given A value as 7 and B value as 12. So in this case if we try and observe so A is represented as what like it will be represented as nothing but 1 1 and 1 we can observe. So A is nothing but 1 1 1 so it is having 3 set bits and how do we represent 12? So 12 is represented as 1, 1, 0 and 0. So we'll represent 12 as 1, 1, 0 and 0. Now in this case we can see that the number of set bits of uh, B is lesser than that of A. So that means we want to make the same bits, right? We, we want to make the bits, uh, we want to make the set bits of A, like if this is three, 3 set bits and this is 2 set bits, so we want to reduce the number of set bits in A such that when we uh, when we do ZOR with X, so we get similar answer. So what we can observe here is, suppose that we keep our answer, suppose that, suppose that we mark our X as nothing but 1, 1 and 1. But we cannot have it, we cannot have our X equal to A here because the number of set bits are not the same. So what will we try to do? If we have 1, 1 and 1 and we had also 1, 1 and 1, then we would have got an answer that would have been 0. But in this case, we have to make some bits as unset. So for doing this, which type of bit if the number of bits in A is greater, so which bit should I unset? So in this case, the bit that I should be unsetting is nothing but uh, the lower bits. Why? Because if you see here, if if I, uh, if I suppose that this is A and suppose this is, uh, suppose this is A and this is X. So in this case, you will observe that the number of set bits of X is what? The number of set bits of X is equal to the number of set bits of uh, B now, okay? So we can observe that if we uh, if we unset, if we make this lowest bit as zero, and then we do the ZOR, 
so we'll get 0 0 and 1 because this is nothing but 7 and this value is nothing but 6 so 7 or 6 will be 1 so I can see that if like suppose in instead of this what I could have done is if I had this and I would have unset this bit and I would have taken the or so it would have been 1 0 and 0 so that would have been 4 which is greater than 1 so in that case I'll, I would have not got the minimum answer so we can see that if we make the if we make the changes in the lower bits and keep the higher bits as the same so in that case the higher bits will give me 0 and they will help me to minimize the number and in that case if I do the if I make this lower bit as unset in that case I'll get a 1 here but it will not impact much the answer will still be minimum so that is the concept here and so how will we do it so the concept is that if we want to make the bit as unset so let us say that if we have a number as 7 so if we have the number as 7 so 7 is represented like 1 1 and 1 so if we just subtract one value to it suppose that what we do is we want to convert the ones into zeros so what we will do is if we take the 6 suppose suppose we have 6 so 6 is represented as 1 like if we do a minus 1 like if this is a if I do a minus 1 so this will be what this will be 1 like this will be 1 1 1 and 0 that that will be the representation of 6 because 6 is represented like 1 1 0 because 1 2 and 4 is there so now if I do what if I do the and if I do the and of 6 and 7 in that case I'll get I'll get what I'll get 1 1 and uh, I'll get this thing I'll, I'll get uh, nothing but this that is 1 1 and 0 so you can observe that how I'm getting this particular number right because if I if I want to unset a particular bit so in that case that is how I can do it so, suppose if my number was suppose 5 if my number was 5 then 5 will be represented as 1 0 1 if I uh, do one subtraction so if I do uh, a minus 1 so it will be 4 and 4 will be represented as 1 0 0 so if I want to make this least significant bit as unset because if I mark the least significant bit as unset then these bits will the lower bits will become set and the higher bits will still remain 0 in the answer so that is what I want because I want the minimum answer so for that what will happen is if I to take the source so this will be 0 this will be 0 and uh, like no if I take the and here if I take the and of both the values a and if I take a and a minus 1 here so what will happen this will be 1 this will be 0 and this will be 0 and that is how I'm getting this uh, value that is uh, having just one bit if this bit was set so now this bit becomes unset and similarly for 1 you can observe that 110 is what the answer I was getting right so that is what we have to observe if we have to make the bit if like basically we want to make the lower bits as unset such that our answer is minimum because if the lower bits are unset and the higher bits are set then the higher bits if they are set they will they will neutralize themselves and the lower bit will be set which will make our answer as minimum okay and suppose if it happens that uh, the number of uh, the set bits uh, the number of set bits in b is greater right the number of set bits in b is greater than the number of set bits okay set bits of a so in that case what i'll do i'll try to set the bits of a because if a is having let's say if a is having lower bits then compared to b so that's what i want is i want i want my x i want basically my x to be what i want my x to contain bits equal to x uh, equal to b so in that case what i will do is like let's say if i'm returning uh, like if i'm returning this thing so what i want i want to i want to make the bits i want to make the bits as set so in this case i'll i'll set the lower bits i'll set the lower bits why i'll set the lower bits not the higher bits because if i if i have let's say if i have something like uh if I have B as let's say 1, 1, 0 and 0, so that is 2 bits are set. And if suppose my A is something like 1, uh, 1 and 0 and 0, uh, like uh, suppose it is like something like uh, 1, 1, like suppose my A is nothing but 1, 1, 0 and uh, like uh, 1, 1, 0, like 1, 0, 0, 0, if it is like this. So if I want to make the bits as set, so if I make this bit as set, so we will observe here, if I make this bit particular bit as set, so it will be nothing but 0, 1, 0, 0, so that will be 4. But if I see here, instead of setting the uh, higher bit, if I set the lower bits, so what will happen? Like 0, uh, like 1, 0, 0 and 1. If I set this bit, so now I'll get 0, 0, 0 here and 1. So that is how I'm reducing the number. So in, in case, if the number of set bits in A is lesser, so in that case, I can say that if, uh, like initially, I can say that if I want to return X, right? So X is equal to A basically. And I can say that I want to set the lower bits in such that if I set the lower bits only in that case my answer will still be minimum possible okay so that is what we would try to do here in this case and if we are dealing with bits so it will not be of much time complexity basically it will be logarithmic in nature so first of all what we will be doing is we'll be writing a function 
for calculating the number of set bits in a particular given number. So let us write this. So like suppose I have A. So I will say that I will have a count, uh, let's say count 1 indicating the set bits of A and I'll have a count 2 which will indicate the set bits of B. So like I will write a count function for myself in which I'll first of all pass A that will give me the number of set bits of A and I'll write a count function B that will give me the number of set bits for B. Now what I will do is I'll have int count and in this function I'll pass n first of all which will give me in the end which will give me the uh, like let's suppose I pass n the number n here so that will give me the number of set bits in uh, this number so I'll, I'll mark let's say my count as 0 initially and then what I'll do is I'll iterate until the number is greater than 0 so while the number is gonna be greater than 0 till then what I'll do is I'll count the number of bits one by one because the I'll count it okay and then like I'll, I'll basically count I'll do count plus is equal to n and 1 because I'm count like I'm counting whether this particular bit is set or not if that particular bit is set then I'm counting it one by one because like what I'll do is like let's say if I write it like this if n and 1 so or we can say that if n mod 2 is equal equal 1 so if the bit is set okay if the bit is set if the last bit is set then I'm counting one by one so if the last bit is set let's say if I had a number like uh if I had a number like 1, 1, 1, like if the bit representation was like this. So first of all, I'll count this bit, then this bit, and then this bit. Because each, each time if I divide the number by 2, so it becomes 1 and 1, then it becomes 1. So and then first of all, I'll count this bit, then I'll count this bit, and then I'll count this bit. Here you can see here. Okay. So if the n mod 2 is equal equal 1, then I'll do a count plus plus. And then what I'll do is I'll keep on dividing the number by 2. So I'll do left shift or like I'll do right shift with 1 indicating that I am decreasing by uh, number by half. Okay. So I'm uh, reducing the number by half. In the end, once I've calculated the number of set bits, so I'll return the number of set bits in the given number A or B. And then what I will do is I'll simply check. So what are the things that I'm going to check here? I'll check here that what is the situation with the number of set bits. So if it happens that suppose that the number of set bits in A is equal to the number of set bits of B. So in that case, I'll want my X. Uh, if in that case, I'll want my X to be nothing but equal to A. So in that case, I can simply return A as we have already discussed. Otherwise, what we can say is else, what we can say is that else if it happens, there, there are two circumstances. Else if it happens that suppose uh, that the number of set bits of uh, my number suppose my number of set bits of uh, a is greater than the number of set bits of b so in that case what will i do if the number of set bits of a is greater then i want to do what then i want to convert then i want to convert uh, ones to zeros and i want to convert the lower ones to zeros why i want to convert the least uh, like lesser uh, lesser significant bits to uh, of 1 to 0 so that if my answer if my answer is increasing if the number of bits will get set in the final answer so it will happen in the lower set bits so in that case it will uh, help me to minimize the answer but because if i unset the higher bits in that case the higher bits will get set in the final answer and i do not want this thing okay so what i will do is i'll say that uh, like let's say, say i calculate the difference as well so i'll calculate the difference let's say difference is equal to nothing but uh, c1 minus c2 here so what i will do is and like till the time i have some number of bits as uh, set like till the time difference is greater than zero so that many uh, like till the time the number of like whatever number of bits uh, i have to set in uh, the number a so uh, if if the num like whatever number of bits like if a, if a is greater right if a is having more set bits so i want to convert ones to zeros so i want to unset the least significant bits so if i if i want to unset them so in that case what we can say is we can say that we will do a is equal to a and a minus one as we have discussed so in that case the least significant bits will one by one get uh, if if i do this then what will happen the lower bits the least significant bits will one by one get set uh, until the difference is greater than zero okay that is what i will do and after this part is done so i can say that i can simply return the value of a from this function okay and other than this what i will do is like there will be other scenario and the other scenario will be when my number of set bits is uh, like else what happens if my number of set bits in uh, a is lesser than the number of set bits of b because we have checked for equal and greater case but what if the number of set bits in a is lesser than the number of set bits in b so in that case what we'll do is first of all we'll calculate the difference and the difference will be nothing but c2 minus c1 okay 
uh, we could have also taken the absolute difference. So what we'll do is first of all, we'll calculate the difference. And once we have calculated this difference, so what, uh, what can we observe? So we'll say that while uh, the difference, we'll say that while the difference is greater than uh, zero, till that many number of bits we like basically we, what we want to do in this uh, part so you want to convert we want to convert the uh, zeros into ones right because the number of set bits in a is lesser so you want to convert them like we want to make it equal to b uh, like uh, so that will, that's why what we'll do is if the difference is greater than zero in that case we'll we'll set the least uh, lesser bits so how do we set the lesser bits so let's say if we have a number like uh, if we have a number let's say four so four is there if we, if uh, four is containing let's say like four is containing how four is containing bits like one zero and zero and if i talk about a number that is just greater so if i have a if i do if i have a plus one suppose so if i have four and i have five so five is what five is one zero and one so it has just one bit more set so in that case what will i do i'll i'll simply do the or operator i'll do a or a plus one a is equal to a or a plus one if i do this then what will happen it will become one zero one so this bit like it will become one zero one so that means this particular bit that was unset now it becomes set so that's why i'll use the or operation here so i'll say that a is equal to a or uh, a plus one that is how we set the lower bit here and then i'll do a difference minus minus indicating that uh, now like one more bit is set in the final answer so that is what we will do and then here we were unsetting the bits right we were converting ones to zeros and here we are converting the zeros to ones okay and then once we have computed this so we can say that we can simply return the value of a that is nothing but the value of x actually because in this question if we see so we have to do what we have to uh, basically we, what we have to do is we have to return the x value accordingly so let us try and compile this to see what happens okay so we are getting a compilation error here what is the error so we it is saying that c1 and c2 was not declared so yes i need to declare them so int c1 and i need to declare int c2 as well let us try and compile now so we can observe it is working uh, same on the samples let us submit it so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases and not talking about the time complexity of this code so since we are dealing with bit manipulation okay so that means the the number of uh, like bits that will be dealing with uh, the time complexity will be nothing but order of log n because the number of set bits at most is log n in a uh, number so the number of bits at uh, the time complexity will be log n and since we are not using any extra space so space complexity will be order of one in case if you understood the problem and the solution so make sure to comment down understood in the comments and hit the like button as well subscribe the channel as well thank you for watching this video